Hey Indie Warriors, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. I am Old Gamer Joe here with another review for you today. We're looking at Inmost, a haunting narrative-driven puzzle platformer developed by Hidden Layer Games and published by Chucklefish. We reviewed the Steam PC version, but it is also available on the Nintendo Switch at a price of $14.99. Inmost is almost certainly the bleakest game I've played so far this year. If you're looking for light-hearted platforming and feel-good storytelling, I can tell you straight away that this isn't going to be the one for you. The story revolves around three different characters, a knight, a child, and a wanderer, and if I'm being honest, telling you much of anything about these characters could potentially ruin the experience of Inmost, so do excuse me if I'm tiptoeing around the plot a bit here, but the main thing you should understand is that each of these characters are dealing with inner traumas, conflicts, and battles of their own. That said, they're all important to one another, which might not actually make sense until the closing portions of the game, but eventually it all comes together. The storytelling in Inmost is quite compelling, but it's also unrelenting, do be aware of that. This is not a game that shies away from violence or any type of heavy subject matter. I was really gripped though throughout the entirety of the game, which took me around 4 hours or so to complete. As far as gameplay goes, Inmost plays a lot like a cinematic platformer. If you've experienced titles in the past like Another World, which fans of this channel already know is one of my favorite games, Flashback, or more recently Ministry of Broadcast, you'll feel pretty comfortable here. As you learn more and more about this world and realize how it's all connected, it starts to feel very organic. You will have to rely on some pretty floaty jumping mechanics as well as other basic platforming to get through the game's many challenges, but in most is not a difficult game really, with most of the puzzles being pretty logical. And the little bit of combat that is sprinkled throughout the story is so basic that the game doesn't even bother tossing in a tutorial, nor does it need one. The character that you'll spend the most time playing as in this title will pick up a few items along the way, including a scythe as well as a pickaxe, which can be used to reveal paths and other little secrets. There are some light shards hidden across the world as well for you to collect, though they are optional. Outside of that, most of the gameplay involves climbing ladders, avoiding enemies, and solving fair but fun puzzles. Occasionally, you might find yourself a little bit lost here and there in Inmost, but overall navigating the world isn't all of that difficult. It's stomaching some of the plot revelations that players might find to be the most challenging aspect of this game. Graphically, Inmost is a beautiful pixelated mess of washed out colors, dark grays. This is a game that has a very heavy tone and atmosphere, and it carries that all the way to its thrilling conclusion. This game is just ugly beautiful if I had to try to find a way to put it. From the gooey blob-like creatures to the truly haunting demonic entities, the graphical presentation of Inmost constantly put me on edge. Great job here by the art team. These images were well burnt into my retinas by the time the credits had begun to roll. I also have to mention the soundtrack of this game, which is fantastic. While it is a bit limited in terms of how many compositions that it actually features, the ones that are here really are masterful in a lot of ways, from the subtle piano melodies to the powerful orchestrated strings that build to a massive crescendo. I thought that this was one of the great soundtracks of the year so far in games. The sound effects are also well produced, and they blend in really nicely with that soundtrack. The whipping winds and the rain sound great, and you even get some story segments with live narration. That voice acting also works to surprising effect. On the whole, Inmost presentation is really, really effective at getting under the player's skin. Inmost may not be the craftiest puzzle game, or it might not have the tightest platforming mechanics, but it sticks with you for different reasons. The writing is clever and smart, everything comes together in a powerful and meaningful way. The graphical presentation of the game is outstanding, and it also has some excellent sound design to accompany that look. While the overall plot may be off-putting to some, I ultimately found that Inmost was a compelling and emotional experience that I won't soon forget. Those who lived in the light of their flower were free from pain and hidden from the keeper's ever vigilant gaze. So will you be checking out Inmost? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you have enjoyed our coverage today, consider hitting the subscribe button. Help us to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. There's a ton of other ways that you can support I Dream of Indie down in the description box below. That includes our merchandise store as well as new memberships. However you end up doing so, we thank you so much.